Hello Pisces, this is Sage Intuitive and I am here to do a past, present, future reading for your sign. So we're going to see what is going on in your situation in the past, present, future. Just know that we are all on different timelines. So therefore, I could be talking about something in the past that could be future energy or present energy for you. I could talk about something in the future and that is past energy for you. So just wanted to make that very clear and let you know. Um, what to expect and have that in the back of your mind um, as we go through this so we're going to start with one card for each placement for the past the present and the future and then we'll work our way through to the end all right so for pisces how oh, past present I need one more from Pisces. Future. Friendship only at the bottom. Okay, so let's see. For Pisces, let's see what this is all about. Past, recent past energy comes with a drama insert dramatic music right comes with drama so in the past you and this person it has been some drama 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 that has kept you separated from this person potentially right could have been some type of legal um, situations that happen here someone here is stuck in the past maybe past relationships but this person is regretting the choices that they have made in the past here Sarah is saying don't take it personal what was happening with them because this is part of their spiritual path that's why it happened this person was stuck on an ex here and that's probably what caused all the drama dealing with somebody who is very hostile maybe them or you um or the ex somebody here was very hostile so maybe they're dealing with they dealt with a hostile ex because we saw legal issues but at the end of the day it showed that this person is coming yeah this was their past situation the past situation was very hostile here so that is why it was so much drama in the past because there was an ex energy here that was keeping things stuck because of all the drama that this ex energy was bringing into the situation let's see what's going on in the present divine union so in the present someone's realizing that this is a union that is more divine than maybe they thought maybe someone is opening their eyes to a connection here now finally in the present deciding that they're not going to settle for what they received in the past because um, now they need to just get closure from from that and stop just really avoiding it and acting like it doesn't happen but really dealing with it there was a lot of misunderstandings here especially with you how your friendship went with this person because there were some secrets that you were not privy to um but this person um and they could be going through some stuff in their homes that they're not telling you about maybe financial issues that you don't completely know about but this person wants to commit to you and while you um see that this person may have or feel that they have like this wandering eye for all these different people and maybe that was in the past maybe there was some part of this past energy that they did have a wandering eye this person is really lonely and but they really like you romantically but they have a lot of concerns about money they're very insecure and things like that they're thinking about you but they're also very jealous right so not wanting you to have anybody else but they're not quite ready yet if that makes sense make it make sense right um yeah this is not over yet because they realize that this is something that they should be looking at yeah new love coming for others of you this divine union is going to be a totally new person 
this could be a resurgence or this could be a new person altogether. For some of you, this is really going to be a brand new person because this drama is too much going on. And you may decide to just kind of say, you know what, this is not what I'm interested in right now. And you might just go towards completely a new person. Future energy, prideful. So you could be dealing with a person that's very prideful. Here, maybe they have a Leo in their chart. Or could be a Leo. Um, it's Leo's son, but it could just have Leo in their chart. Someone that's very prideful here. There's a lot of drama back, um, back here. They could be talking to others about the situation. Um, some, something significant could have happened in the spring, but they could be talking to their friends about it, about the situation. Maybe you're talking to your friends about the situation as well. They want to talk to you on the phone. Something is not being said. There could, there's a potentiality for an improvement, but this person is like really, really in their ego. So either way, they're not really going to say much. There could be a lot of drugs and alcohol involved in with the situation as well. So just be mindful of that. And they could be under the influence of something that is not, a, not helping them think clearly. Because they consider you relationship material, but their ego is like on a million right their ego is something else so that's kind of what's keeping them from really like coming forward some of you are going to just decide to stop reaching out oh you did which is so funny because the two cards that came out so they're saying stop reaching out and they're waiting for you to reach out <laughs> so you stop reaching out but they're waiting for you to say something pride ego all pride ego right because they're waiting for it. But you're like, nah, I'm not going to do it. But they're waiting for you to do that. So ego, all very, all much ego. And this person is has a lot of psychic ability. Now, you can switch this. This could be you, Pisces. Or this could be somebody else. So just letting you know. There's marriage in the cards for you, Pisces. Your relationships will go to the next level. But I feel like this might be with the new love. Now, if it's a resurgence of love and things kind of like flip around, awesome. This person thinks about you. I just feel like they're just too prideful, right? And um, they can't give you the full truth. That's maybe why it's been friendship only. Because this person doesn't understand or know how to really get out of that mentality quite yet. Um, so yeah, Pisces, this is kind of what I have for your situation. Take the advice as it is. Um, and you know, you have, you have free will. You can change any of this. Be open, be vulnerable to, you know, other situations. If that is what it leads, you know, you lead to, and that's what you decide to say, no, maybe not going to give this as much of, um, thought uh, or you know much of my energy because this pride and ego thing is not cool right there's st there are some things that you don't know about this person has their eyes have been open that they know that this is a significant connection i don't fully think they know how to handle that just yet so that is something you're going to have to decide if you want to deal with or not or wait or keep it moving. You have potentiality of new love. If you want to get married, you can do that. If you want a long term relationship, you have that. It's just a matter of who that will be with. All right. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will certainly see you all again soon. Take care.